There continues to battle against the COVID-19 pandemic as the number of cases continue to increase on daily basis since early July. On Sunday, the Ministry of Health announced more than 100 fresh cases of the novel coronavirus and four related deaths of COVID-19, bringing the total number of deaths to 23. The CSA has more in this report. The Gambia has registered an additional four COVID-19 related deaths 145 new cases and 75 new recoveries as of Friday. This brings the overall death toll to 23, 1,235 confirmed cases, 221 recoveries since the confirmation of the first case in the country, Ali Maj. As indicated in the 114 National Situation Report on Sunday, 36% of the new cases are medical research council staff and their close contacts. These constitute a 43% positive test rate, 145 out of 339 total tests performed. The report further stated that, unlike the previous set of reported cases, which were predominantly asymptomatic, over 40% of the new cases are symptomatic, with many presenting loss of test or smell and intermittent coughing. By the latest report, 339 new laboratory test results were received from Medical Research Council and National Public Health Laboratory. And of this, 22 returned in determinant and 145 newly tested positive for COVID-19. 24 people were newly taken into quarantine, 75 new discharges were made. The country currently has 339 people in quarantine, 991 active cases, 134 probable cases, and a quick case fatality ratio of 1.2%. Since the outbreak of COVID-19 in the Gambia, the country, together with partners, have been working tirelessly to control the spread of the virus. However, the country has seen a percent rise in coronavirus this last year, prompting the government to take further to cause the spread of the virus. Was the closure of markets at 2 p.m. and fumigation of the markets every Sunday avoid the potential risk of contaminating the public space. For iAfrica TV News, this is